Hi booktube, Lynette here and in this video I'm going to talk to you about the books that I plan to read in July. I uh, have decided to mix things up a little bit. I'm a cross between a TBR and a mood reader and towards the end of June I started to mood read more rather than uh, reading the books that were on my TBR. This was partly affected by what's been happening around the world with the Black Lives Matter movement and recently, in recent months, I've been using a spreadsheet to track my reading and part of that spreadsheet is asking about diversity in books and it's made me think about it a bit more and I've realised just how few books I read that have any form of diversity in them or they're pretty much exclusively by white authors and I've decided that I need to change that up. So in June I did download some books uh, by authors of colour and I started to read those and I've decided that for July I'm only going to stick with setting a TBR for the year-long readathons and my book club that I'm a part of um, because for the uh, Romanceopoly readathon I've decided that I'm going to try and make one of those books at the very least um, a book by an author of colour. This is just something I've done on my own. Uh, matters happening around the world have kind of accelerated my thinking. I, I am guilty of thinking that um, well books by authors of colour should just be put in my hands. Well they're not going to be and I have to go and go out and find them. Um, so I, I, I quite honestly you know that is on me to do and that's what I'm aiming to start doing. So as I say I'm only going to set the books for Romanceopoly, for In Death Read Along and for the book club Just One More Page book club that I belong to now. Uh, and the first books that I'm going to talk to you about are the Romanceopoly books. Like I said I've decided that I need to at least try and make one of those books a book by an author of colour. Uh, so I really did keep that in the forefront of my mind when picking my books this month and when I did my rolls. I've got one carryover from June that I didn't read and that was the library pick which is a free pick. You can read anything you want from the book, from any genre, any trope, anything at all. And I actually decided to change my mind. I'd had a book set for it in June and I changed my mind completely and decided right the perfect opportunity um, to find something else and I went for A Princess in Theory by Alyssa Cole. Uh, primarily um, I did this, I've never read Alyssa Cole, she's an author I've heard a lot about in the romance genre but I've never really looked into her books before, her books have never really crossed my path before, uh, they've not been recommended because of other people I read or anything like that which is usually how I pick up new authors. Um, but I decided, okay, fine, let's uh, search just for for authors of colour in the romance genre and obviously um, Alyssa Cole, Courtney Milan, Brenda Jackson um, and a few others whose names I recognise but are now escaping me uh, kind of popped up on the radar and this is one of them and this was the first book in a series and I really like the sound of it. It's about a princess, um, or not princess, it's about a young woman in America who has been receiving these emails telling her that she is the long lost betrothed to Prince Thibiso of the Lose, the, Lo the Solo. I can't pronounce it, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll put it up on the screen when I do the editing. And She's treated it as spam because she thinks it's just a scammer trying to get her information. So she's been ignoring the emails and uh, getting or not deleting them, but she's um, she's been moving them out of her inbox so she doesn't have to see them. Um, the prince is actually on his way to America and specifically to where uh, this young woman lives. And he decides that while he's there that he's going to meet her. He accidentally... Um, doesn't tell her who he really is and pretends to be someone else for a short time until she finds out and all breaks loose from there. Uh, and I thought it sounded really fun, it sounded um, quite cool and I, I just I really like the idea of it. 
so I popped that one on the library square uh, for July. So then on to my actual roles for July. The first role I landed on Campus Corner and Campus Corner is to read a new adult book where either the hero or the heroine is a bit of a nerd. For this book I've picked The Chase by Elle Kennedy. Uh, this is about Summer um, who is a fashion major at university in America and Fitz who is um, a bit of a gamer. He's a hockey player so he's a bit of a jock and he's also designed his own computer game and he's a bit of a gaming nerd. Um, I don't mean that in a derogatory way uh, but he likes uh, computer games, he likes playing them um, and that takes up a lot of his spare time. They are two completely different personalities uh, but they get thrown together because Fitz is friends with Summer's older brother and Summer needs somewhere to stay and they have a spare room. Uh, so lots of things go on from there. They are in their um, early 20s and it sounds quite fun again um, and I'll just see where it goes from there. Um, hopefully I'll enjoy it. My second role for July then took me on to the square called The Bar and this is to read a book set where you live. Now they've been quite loose about this, you can be as specific or as non-specific as you like, it just has to at the most be in the same country where you live. I decided to type into search engine book set in Somerset and I came across Lorna Dune by R.D. Blackmore. This is a book that has been on my radar since I was a, uh, in my very early teens, maybe a bit earlier than that. It's set um, not far from where I live. Uh, I, I kind of, where I am in Somerset, um, I'm not far between towards the coast um, and towards the area of, of Somerset and Devon where this book takes place, primarily takes place. So I actually saw this as an opportunity to grab a classic and uh, read another classic this year. So I'll see how I go with that one. Um, and hopefully I can get through that one, knock off a classic for the year um, and also read a book specifically set near to where I live. And the final role for July took me on to Courtship Row and this is to read a book where the heroine is a wallflower. So again, I thought, right, I need to try and find another author of colour. Uh, so again, I typed that in, historical romance, authors of colour. And I picked a book called The Duchess War by Courtney Milan. Um, I've heard of Courtney Milan before. There were uh, lots of things going on um, about a year or so ago. There was some controversy around an author trying to... Um, trademarks and words and she was quite heavily involved in that uh in the in the speaking out about it and I be, so I became aware of it that way but I didn't actually pick up any of her books at that time um so I thought great you know she writes historical romance let's uh, see how I can um how I do with that mm. so the duchess war is about minerva lane who is a bit of a wallflower um and she's become a wallflower by choice because she's got a bit of a scandalous past which she's had to run away from and she's actually changed her name her real name isn't Minerva Lane she's been keeping herself to herself and she's staying um, quite uh, below the radar until the Duke of Claremont Robert de Blaisdell comes to town and they become um, involved in each other's circles and Robert Blaisdell is up to something and Minnie figures out what it is. Uh, from there they get thrown together and uh, I gather there's a bit of a, not a hate to love, um, but they don't start out quite so friendly towards each other. Uh, so that could be a, a good fun situation to be in. I've read a few historical romances and I do quite enjoy them. So I'm looking forward to picking this one up and um, finding a new author as well because like I say Courtney Milan is a new author to me uh, so I'm looking forward to finding out if I like her writing style as well. So the next book 
is going to be for the In Death Read Along, which is a read along that I've been doing all year. And the aim of it is to read one book from J.D. Robb's In Death series every month. I'm actually going to read two this month because there is the uh, book that I'm book seven that I'm going to read and also there is a novella um, a short story um, so I'm going to read that this month as well so it's book seven and book 7.5 book seven is called holiday in death and we've now gotten up to Christmas in New York um, in the late 2050s and Eve is the main character and she is a homicide detective and she's been called to the murder of a young woman who's been strangled and they then begins a countdown to Christmas um, with something from representing the 12 days of Christmas song left at each scene um, and Eve is in a race against time to find the serial killer again and book 7.5 is called Midnight in Death and this is the novella set between um, Holiday and Death and Conspiracy and Death. Um, in this book, a serial killer that Eve has caught has escaped from prison and he's on the hunt for her. She has to find him before he finds her um, and with the help of her husband, Rourke. I really love the In Death series books. I find them a struggle to put the series down at the end of every single one. Um, but there are a lot of books in this series and I think that if I were to try and read more than one a month I would probably burn out on them and I don't really want to do that because I am really enjoying so I'm really liking um, just these little snippets every month um, until hopefully in a couple of years time I will have caught up with like, the entire series. The final book that I'm actually setting myself to read in the month of July is the book for my book club, Just One More Page. Uh, this is a book club that is very, very new. July is the first official month, although we did have a book for June, but July is the first official month that the book club is running. And this month we are going to be reading Dear Edward by Anne Napolitano. Uh, the book is about... Um, or it starts off with a flight taking off and it subsequently crashes and all 192 passengers except for one um, are killed and the one is a young boy Edward Adler and this book is a bit of a coming of age book uh, Edward has to deal with the aftermath of the plane crash his sudden fame um, navigating life without his family because he was on board the plane with his entire family um, and how his his life evolves and changes after that. Uh, from there he finds a series of letters that have been written to him and uh, it's about how that affects his ongoing life as well. <clears throat> so it sounds quite interesting. Uh, it's more of a literary style of book than I would normally read but that's the reason why I've joined this book club I'm trying to broaden the horizons of my reading a lot more in this year um, past years I've read so much fantasy that I think I've just got to the stage where I just need to break it up with something else and this is one of the ways that I'm trying to break it up now uh, it sounds really really interesting and I'm really looking forward to it and it's um it, the book is actually on my mind quite a bit because I haven't got to it. I, I'm filming this on the 11th of July. Um, so I'm still already thinking about this book and when I'm going to get to it uh, because I want to get to it. I want to be able to make notes about it um, so that I can take part in the meeting that we're going to have at the end of the month. It's an online book club as well. Um, I should just say it's run by Jess McGlynn who has a page on uh, YouTube she has a, a video channel on YouTube um, she has a page on Instagram um, go look her up and the book club is just one more page uh, go and look that up as well and if you think it's books that will take your fancy come join us other than that I will pick up books what I fancy when I fancy um there's lots going on at the moment. We're still on furlough. Um, or I'm, I'm not on furlough. I am actually still at work at the moment. Uh, I was supposed to be furloughed again, but there's lots of things happening with my job. Um, 
so I don't have lots and lots of free time at the moment to read. I am trying to read a little bit every day. Uh, I am on 96 days in a row that I have picked up a book and read. I use the Bookly app to track my reading on my phone and that tells me how many consecutive days I've read and my longest reading streak. And at the moment, I think I'm up to 96 days. Uh, so a few more days and I will hit 100 and I'll get another tick in the box on the app. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just going to uh, keep on keeping on with the books that I've got going and see where I go from there. I hope uh, you've all got good plans for July um, and that involve some reading. If you have, let me know down below what you're reading. Uh, if you've liked this video, please like and subscribe and I will speak to you all again soon. Bye.